everyone, it's Mike Andy's Landscape Business Course, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the shop and do get kind of a tour of what we're doing here. So this is outside, this is where we do our retail side, and we have different samples of the products that we have up here with some of the prices. Let me show you inside the office and then we'll take a tour around the office. So inside of here is where our project managers as well as our office staff will be residing. So up front here is where people will come for retail and they can uh, basically buy everything from our Square app here. Uh, using the iPad, the office is able to ring them up and they're also gonna be able to answer the phone from here. Up front here right now you can see this is early in the morning so this is gonna be the different types of jobs the crews are gonna be using for the day. So on each this other room here we have the project management board. So there's a couple of different things that we're looking at here. We have the whiteboard here where it's showing them which jobs they're going to, who's on their crew, and then which trucks and trailers are leaving here from the Blaine office. And so that's what they'll be looking at as far as their crews and where they're going for the day. Over here, they have, we have the project manager. This is where she would sit and she would kind of regulate what's going on in the day. So just swing around real quick and we'll check out the rest of the office here. We have our whiteboard, contacts. There's also the keyboard. So from here, the guys pick up their keys each morning and also they will write down things like on equipment as far as what's broken, what needs fixed, what's at the mechanic right now. Um, and so that's basically the office. Now we're outside and out here is where we would be loading people for retail. So this is the back end of the shop and we have all sorts of different types of materials back here. Uh, we got everything from your sand, your 5 8 minus that we put underneath our pavers. You have drain rock, cobbles, uh, different types of soil all back here in the bins. And this is where someone can come and drive in with their truck and we load them up. And then we can also use a dump truck to load that and get it out of so here. So the day hasn't started yet, so you'll see a lot of the equipment still here. But each day the guys will pop their heads in here and see what equipment they need for the day. So over here they have all the hand tools. And it's all labeled here as far as where things should be going, rakes, shovels, etc. You got loppers and all the rest of it. So literally within about an hour, most of this will be gone. It'll be out in the trucks and the trailers. And then over here we have a lot of our hand tools as far as the steel system. So we use this, the steel combi system for all of our weed eaters and trimmers and things like that. So they can throw a chainsaw attachment, a hedger attachment, metal header. So basically this is the hand tools. Uh, shed, so everything from you know shovels to rakes to things that they're going to be carrying for blowers and weed eaters and things like that. So let me head, let's head over to the box. I'll show what that's looking like. On our way over there, well, let's go ahead and look at where we dump all our debris. So at this office, we actually can't burn all of our debris. It's kind of a pain. So we actually have to warehouse it here on site, and then we take dump loads every couple weeks over to our Bellingham shop, where there's more space to dump it off of this cliff and all that good stuff. So. Again, stuff is usually warehoused here for a few weeks and then we're trying to get it over to the Bellingham shop because that's where we, we can burn things, we, can, we have a whole lot more space over there. But this is where it sits for now, trying to keep it organized. And basically, during the summer we try to get it all out of here when it's dry because during the winter this becomes like a, a dump back here, a whole bunch of mud. Over here we got the red box, let me open this up and show you inside here. You'll see at this office as well as the other office in Bellingham, we use these boxes quite a bit. You can get these boxes for about $3,000 to $4,000 depending where you're at. They're 40 feet long, 8 feet wide, and they're very secure. That's the nice thing about them. And you don't have to get a building permit, so it's easy to get for storage as well as just keeping things dry uh, throughout the day. So in here, we, we basically for about $600, bucks, we can get lights and electric put inside these boxes. So that's basically the box here. Let's hide outside now again and we will show you the trailers and the different trucks that we got ready for the day. So if you look here, the guys are already heading out for the day trying to take the trucks and trailers. We got dump trucks over here, D1 and D2. These, these ones are parked in their spot. And then here the mowing crews are already headed out, for the, starting to head out for the day. They're hooking up here to the enclosed trailers. And so this is where the guys park their trailers and they all have assigned uh, parking spots. So this is a dump trailer. We use these a lot for landscaping jobs. It's a, a really versatile piece of equipment for moving track loaders and skid steers and other excavators as well as just in general dumping a lot of material. So this is a fun sign here and this is just what basically shows what we're doing here along the roadside. The guys are all headed out here. You can see the two dump trailers have already pulled out for today. So let's head over there. I'll show you around the Bellingham office and what we're doing there to start that one up.